a number of years, most of us have seen waves uh, in technology. Yes. So let's say the first one was, I'm going to use uh, somebody called Everett Rogers theory of diffusion of technology. How technology comes, how we adopt, and how it declines. Yes. Uh, at the decline level is where you talk about, you begin to talk about bust. But you are going to see seesaw, uh, the prices going up and down. Uh, but that doesn't mean there is a, a bust. So from the beginning, you have something like this. Uh, the first of the wave we had was internet. Internet. Yes. Internet came. We were doubtful. We couldn't adopt to it. Mm -hmm. And the time we were doubting, others were making money. Usually when something new comes, you have techies working on it. And then you have what you call the early adopters. Huh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then in the end, you have majority and then you have laggards here. Yeah? When you come in as a laggard, yes. is that you have no option and there is no, no advantage you take on this side. So when this one was going up, we got the mobile. We got the mobile. The mobile uh, technology came, yes. you know? And the mobile actually relied mostly on, on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, it came, we have gone through Ali, we have gone through here, we are somewhere here on the mobile technology. Actually, it is almost beginning uh, to use your word to bust. Because mm -hmm. you see... Which Ali doesn't want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you see technologies like WhatsApp, which may replace voice, uh, the current way we understand it. So something new must come up. So now, the other, the other technology that is just coming is blockchain. We have no choice but to use this technology. We've been talking about uh, corruption, we've been talking about whatever. This is where blockchain would help us and we have just gone past techies. We have gone to early adopters. That's how you get Kodak. Early adopters, the government of Dubai. Early adopters, the Chicago Board of Exchange. Early adopters, Belarus. like the accounting firms, Belarus. Mm -hmm. So we are now beginning to get early adopters. And what happens with early adopters? They actually get premium. Because when, while others are doubting, they are actually getting premium returns on their investment. So for us to remain and the way to come in as laggards, we have destroyed the whole country. And, and it can't help us to do that. Because this is actually, again, talking about the risk tolerance. How much risk can you tolerate? Um, if you can't buy two, two bitcoins, you can buy one, yeah? The, the government cannot go ahead of innovation. Innovation goes ahead and then they come with regulation. If you look at the government of the UK, they have done so much work around blockchain. What Meli has said on theft around blockchain, if the government wants to trace, they will get all the data. We can't look at, at blockchain in isolation from the emerging technologies like big data analytics. The central bank must now get into analyzing big data. In Kenya, how many people with cryptocurrency, where are they using it? Then you can have appropriate legislation. But we can't blanketly dismiss this. So other countries are looking at actually making it uh, a legal tender. That's what I wanted to show, that there is no purple, there, there is no bust.
Before you see it, uh, yeah. let us go to the laggards because uh, yeah. we had a case in point about Kodak. Yes. And uh, Kodak, we know, embracing technology also was a bit uh, very, they were a bit uh, they apprehensive. Yeah, they, they, learned. Yeah, they learned, isn't it? Yes. They were on the laggard side. Yes. But right now, they're actually the first ones who are going exactly. for this uh, Bitcoin it's, itself. In, a, in entrepreneurship, we say, when you fail, you actually learn from failure. They don't want to ever be laggards like they were with their camera when the engineer came and said um, there is a digital camera just after they had invested mm -hmm. heavy around the film and they lost very heavy yeah thank you thank, thank you. you professor yeah